Mr. Sticker Mania and Sticker Kid, Sticker Kid from Louisville, Kentucky, bring my July 4th Red Hot New Arrivals, a music memorabilia for my Sticker Mania 2853 store. You got anything to say, Sticker Kid, before I get into this? Well, I don't like talking to the camera anymore. Oh, well, you tell me. Tell me about the subscribers. Oh yeah, fifteen percent not I mean subscribe. We just need ten percent more to get to uh thousand subscribers. All right, can and we do it? And if we do that, then we're gonna do a giveaway soon. Yeah, we're gonna give away. That'll be top secret. I can't say what we're gonna give away yet. All hmm. right. I'm gonna give them a hint. <laughs> All right, here we go. It's an item. We got this 1964 sealed package of Beatles bubblegum cards from the United Kingdom made by A and B and C Bubblegum uh, Limited in uh, England. Sealed from corner to corner. And the bubblegum, can you believe the bubblegum is uh, almost 60 years old and it's not broke yet? Yummy. So please, please don't break it. And you can't, you can't eat it either. About this 1975 original tour program of Led Zeppelin, when they were at their peak and they had just released physical graffiti. Got some great pictures of Jimmy Page with his double neck guitar he played Stairway to Heaven on. See that double neck guitar there? How much, how much money do you think a guitar is worth? What a guitar costs? Nah, I'm thinking it's worth $5 million. We got these three early issues of Rolling Stone magazine I obtained today. It's hard to find these newspaper-like um, music in any kind of condition at all. That's a 1970 right there. It's got three... Um, Reviews of three new uh, Beatle LPs inside, and it's got a young Eric Clapton on the cover. You got a Rolling Stones from 1972, The Exile on Main Tour that I saw when I was a senior in high school. Keith Richards got his coat shirt on, how appropriate. And we got Mick Jagger in his white satin jumpsuit there on the cover. 1972, we got one more. This is the 1974 issue. Got the Beatles lunchbox because it has a whole article about the first Beatle Fest in New York City in 1974. That John Lennon thought was a great idea to have all these Beatle fans come together in a convention. All right, sticker kid, I need some help. Um, you went next to it. Uh, please help me. Okay. Give me one there. Give me the record. We got a 1968 uh, reissue of Please Please Me Stereo. This real nice laminated cover and the flip backs. Uh, dash one, dash one in the uh, dead wax. The only way you can hear the master, the original master tapes, the cut because uh, it was tube cut because the master tape has broken, can't be used anymore. Scotty, can you hear me that Bob Dylan album? Scotty, you said my name. All right, sorry. Stick again. Okay, Albert. Sorry, I've only made that mistake twice now. We got this uh, Bob Dylan, the Free Will and Bob Dylan from 1963. It's got the rare hype sticker for blowing in the wind. This is a monocopy, 2i monocopy. Pretty hard to find that. And we're down to uh, right there some original Beatle albums. I kind of messed up this. That's okay. Give me that stack of Beatle albums. Get ready to give me the pink toy. We got a, a original 1968 uh, first issue of, of the Beatles White Album from the United States. Really nice shape. You see where it's got the pasted on slicks and the number uh, 1,900,000. No seam splits at all. 
still has the uh, glossy cover on it and look at this it even has a photo protector sheet that was uh, placed to protect the uh, find the photo that's the original poster and here are the four photos must be one more in there Mr. Paul McCartney Nope. But anyway, this photo sheet was put in some of the copies to protect these glossy photos from getting damaged when they were factory sealed. What do you say, Sticker Kid? Are you, are you there with me? What's a Pink Floyd? Well, it's a Pink Floyd. Oh, that's a good question. It's a, it's a name of a group that did uh, one of the best-selling albums of all time, Dark Side of the Moon. Have you ever heard of that? I think I know what you're talking about. All right. We got an Abbey Road first press with a sewer grate and the shrink from the United States. It was $3.99, the original price tag. First issues don't have Her Majesty on the uh, back of the cover or the record, nor Her Majesty on the record. It ends with the end. We got this Hey Jude from 1970 and the factory shrink. It was $3.66, brand new. And what's, the, how you tell a first issue? It says the Beatles again, instead of the Beatles Hey Jude. Mrs. Yes. Mania. Yes. Who keeps taking a bite out of the apple in the middle? <laughs> I don't know, tell me. Mm, Is it um, the worm? I'm allergic to vegetables. Oh, okay. So it can't be me. Can't be you. All right, sticker kid, I need those Pink Floyd albums that you know so much about. Right yeah, here. Here you go. No, that's the Sex Pistols. But that's pink. Yeah, I know. But this is the Pink Floyd. We got a Pink Floyd with a uh, blue uh, shrink wrap for Wish You Were Here. It has a hype sticker. It also has the uh, original thick inner sleeve and the uh, postcard. We got a, here's your uh, cow album there. Do cows go moo? Yeah, they go moo. Let me hear a big moo. Moo! That's great. <laughs> Adam Hart Mother. That's the original hype sticker. Was taken off to shrink and they taped it to the album cover. Don't see that too much. Oh, All right, we got a couple more things. The, I just saw more cows in the back. All right, Ooh. more cows? Yeah, there's no tells. All right, you're gonna have to get the uh, last album there. We got some um, Beatle albums from the 1970s with hype stickers. We got rock and roll music from 1976. It was uh, $9.87, brand new. What makes this unique is this cover is real, so it'll have uh, all kinds of ring wear, this foil cover, if the shrink is taken off. This is the only way but you can ever see how this cover looked when it was brand new. It has to be in the factory shrink that, or with the uh, hype sticker. You like that cover of the Beatles? Why are they playing music? You know, that's what they did. They practiced 10,000 hours to be the best band that ever walked 10, the planet Earth. 10,000 hours. They practiced <coughs> 10,000 hours in Hamburg, Germany. You ever heard of that? Yes. All right. Actually, no. All right. We got the sealed Beatles 67 to 70 from 1978. It's on blue vinyl special edition. Got the hype sticker on the back. It was $15.98 originally. Got this white album from 1978. It was discounted at $24.99 on white vinyl. It's a UK pressing. Um, Sure, it's an audiophile album, but I'm gonna leave it sealed. One more thing, I'm not even gonna tell you what you're picking up there, but I'll, I'll tell yeah, you. I don't audience. know what it is either. Yeah, can you give me the record? Oh, the greatest. We got this 1977 first issue of Nevermind the Bullocks. Here's the Sex Pistols, 1977 from the United States. Promotional copy, not for sale. As a hype sticker says, this album may contain material unsuitable for airplay. 
It's got the, how you know it's an early issue. It's got a white hype sticker that's affixed to the back cover for submission. It's got the original inner sleeve with pictures of the Sex Pistols on both sides. That's Johnny Rotten. You ever heard of Johnny Rotten? No. And Sid Vicious. This is the original white label promo album when they were pushing the Sex Pistols when they first came out. One of the first punk groups that exploded worldwide in the 1977. I think that's uh, it on my new arrival. Do you have anything else to finish with here, Sticker Kid? Sure did say the S with a lot. What? Sex Pistols? Yes. Oh, okay. I know. No sex, right? Do cows go moo? <laughs> yeah, cows go moo. All right. See you later from Louisville, Kentucky. Later.